the uh, Bush administration, Condoleezza Rice. Bush comes out and says this is a religion of peace. Condoleezza Rice has a has a fa I mean a celebration at the end of Ramadan and and honors these people uh, on account of this great religion. Well, are they deceived? It's a deception. I mean, Care Council of American Islamic Relations. They say we condemn terrorism. We con we, you know we condemn terrorism. Mm -hmm. Well, what we need to do as Americans is to say, wait a minute, condemning a terrorism is not a verb. It's an act. How are you condemning terrorism by act? If you look at all the Islamic organizations, the American Muslim Council, uh, you know, all of them, by far, if you look at the demonstrations, what do they say? Khaybar, Khaybar, Ya Yahud, Jaishu Muhammad, Sawfa Ya'ud. I know the Arabic. Khaybar is where the Jews were destroyed in Saudi Arabia by the Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. And they're chanting in the demonstrations saying, don't forget Jews, what Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam, did to you in Saudi Arabia, in Khaybar, in Medina. If you want to stop Islam, what would you do? We have to understand, this Islamic movement is a cancer. Yes. It, it is a cancer not only that will destroy itself, but it will also destroy us in the process. We must isolate the cancer and have it destroy itself. Uh, we have to get out of oil, because that's the only reason why we're so much involved in the Middle East, because oil. of the oil interest. Oil. All right. If we get out of oil, because mm -hmm. oil is the wine that is causing the intoxication of the nations, uh, and we're selling out on Israel, we're selling out on Christians for the reason of this oil. So if we can get off oil, get into alternate source of energy, I think both uh, Republicans and Democrats should be happy. Both liberals and conservatives should be happy. Then we can isolate the Middle East and, 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 and get rid of the problem. So I think isolating it and then crushing a major terror organization, because what we're doing in the West is we're building the confidence of Islamists. We're forcing Israel to pull out of Gaza. Yeah. So we're, we're supporting regimes that is, is not pro-America at all. And so uh, building the confidence uh, is what we have done in the, in the past. Even in Afghanistan, we aided the Mujahideen against the communists. That was, in a way, a mistake. The CIA funded the That's right. Mujahideen. That's right. Yeah. And when they defeated Russia, uh -huh. guess what? Now they can defeat America. And we, Israel wanted to destroy Hamas, Hezbollah and Hamas. What do we say? Israel must pull out of Lebanon. So we twisted Israel's arm to pull out of Lebanon. That built more confidence and more confidence. And, it's just and, like the stock market. And the, democratic elections, too. We want to have, I remember the Bush saying, oh, we've had a democratic election in the, in the West Bank and Hamas won. Hamas won. In fact, 113,000 Arabs in the Middle East were asked the question, do you prefer Hamas or the PLO? Pat, 73.2% chose Hamas over the PLO. What this is saying, I mean, this is an, a survey done by Al Arabiya Network, an mm -hmm. Arab institution. Yeah. 113,000 Muslims chose radical Islam. And that's not just in the Palestinian areas. In Pakistan, 56% want radical Islam. In Jordan, if you have elections, they will choose radical Islam. In Egypt, if you have elections, they will choose radical Islam. In Iraq, if you have elections. We're seeing this over and over again, the rise of Islam. We see a civil war happening now in the Palestinian areas mm -hmm. uh, in which Hamas will be victorious. I've been saying this since 1993. Yeah. I said Lebanon will, will turn Muslim fundamentalist. Palestine that we're creating, a state is not a state, it's a state of psychosis mm -hmm. that will end up in an Islamic fundamentalist. I said Turkey will end up electing Muslim fundamentalist organization. We have You're the AKP, right. the Rafah Party. Turkey was the eastern part of the Roman Empire. We as Christians are waiting for a revival of a Roman Empire. Do we forget what is going to happen from the eastern part of the Roman Empire? One last question. I see our time's running up, but uh, uh, do you think they're going to try to bl blow up something big here in America? Are, are they, they bloodthirsty to try to really kill a whole many of Americans? Pat, they've already tried. They, you know, they haven't succeeded. Ten airplanes to blow up, right. uh, Sears Tower, right. and lately trains they want to blow up, and all these things, it's, they, they haven't succeeded. Uh, they want to do a grand finale. This, we, if you look at every single terror operation that they attempted to do and they've succeeded in 9-11 is a grand finale to destroy this country. This is why I thank God for your program mm. that we're telling Americans really what's going on. A grand finale that will cripple the economy of the United States of America yes. because America is the mama bear, America is the police force that is, sto police force mm. that is stopping tyrants in the Middle East. They must destroy and cripple this economy and this, this country. And I understand there's been a fatwa issued that gives them permission to kill 10 million Americans, is that right? This fatwa is galore. You know, the fatwa's been going on for years. Yeah. Islam is simply a religion that was wounded and wants to heal its wound. 
the, the Westerners don't understand. The reason they hate us so much, they hate the West so much, mm -hmm. is because we have dismantled the caliphate. Yeah. The caliphate that was in Turkey, mm -hmm. in the Ottoman Empire. They want to revive the caliphate. This is the whole call for reviving the caliphate. It is a wounded beast that wants to heal its wound and rise again to dominate as in the glory days when Islam dominated the, the East. That's what it wants to do. It has nothing to do with Israel. It has nothing to do with poverty. It, has, it uses poverty just to say America is at fault, sure. Zionist uh, conspiracies and all these things. Well, you're fascinating. I, I know we've got to move on. You've got other guests, but it's why we want to kill you. You ought to read it, folks. Everybody in this audience ought to read this. And I wish the people who made policy in Washington, D.C. would read it. It's available in bookstores everywhere. Why we want to kill you. And, Wally, it's a pleasure to have you back yes, with us. I'd love to see you again.